Aquarius Moon Memorial. Seems you have a little bit of a wound in your forehead there. A bit closer to the eye there, isn't it? Let me just check your charts. It says here, Dr. Abel Kepner admitted you, is that correct? Okay, perfect. And it says here you walked into a tree branch. Must have been a pretty big tree branch. Yeah. Well, it seems you've got okay, some little splints in your eye. Can you see? Close that up. Follow my pen for me. Okay, so it seems a little bit delayed. Uh, nurse, book a appointment with the optician, please. Okay, great. Oh, also, don't mind them, they're just my incompetent surgical interns. Okay, just follow the tip. So I'm going to try and remove that first, but because it's a bit of a blow to the upper eyebrow, I'm going to make sure we get the head CT. So can one of you do that please, go book a head CT, and one of you page Dr. Amelia Shepard from Neuro. Thank you. Hmm. Sorry. 14 hour shift with a 10 minute break thanks to my incompetent interns. Mm. Okay, so, uh, let's see, okay, you have Zocrit 9 saline into your left, well, your right, your right arm. Okay, it seems you came in here feeling dehydrated. Do you get like that? Did you feel faint before you walked into the tree? Do you remember? Okay. Do you often experience loss of memory? Any medical history with dementia, Alzheimer's? Okay. Schizophrenia. Do you experience any sorry any symptoms of schizophrenia, such as depression, aversion, which is like the inability to be able to carry out everyday tasks, uh, hallucinations, delusions? I want to make sure that there are no real problems leading up to the task. So Neuro should be on their way soon. But while that is going, I'm going to actually just add a bit of morphine to your solution so I can then go ahead and I can work on the, the trauma. So I'm actually going to start lot of the splinters and stuff because there is some stuff on your face which doesn't look too attractive right now, I hope you don't mind me saying. Um, I'm gonna try and steer away from having to use this cardboard, I don't really want to cut you open in the middle of the video. So I'm just going to start with, I'll start a bit up. Do you have any plans today? Are you in a rush or something? No. Late for work. Oh. At least now you don't have to go into work at all. But I guess it kind of defeats the point of walking into the tree, doesn't it? Okay, so I just removed some of the small debris. I'm going to try and get this big splinter out. Let me just get my lovely pliers. Okay. Okay. How oh, if you could stay very still for a second while I just take that out? I need to get a new one. Now, let's 
is just work on here and if you could just look up a little bit so I could there we go get that one right there perfect okay how do you vision It's clearer up close or further away. Up close or further away. Okay. I'm gonna have to try and work on getting this little splinter out of your eye. Hopefully the morphe will go in. In fact, I'll do a test. I need your palm out like this. You just need your palm out like this. Okay? And how that feel? You can feel it. Okay. This is not gonna feel the same. But Okay, it's just gonna I'm just going to some more gauze. Okay. There's a partial bleed on the right side of your left eye. And we're gonna just try and get me some tape. Try and hold that in. Okay. You know what? I think that was actually just a part of the splinter was clearly pushing down on one of your veins in your eyes so now that that is gone it seems to actually be fine move the bandage okay that looks fine actually okay but can you do another test in the eye don't worry oh god um that was very scary there for a second no you wouldn't have died highly unlikely I never lose patience. Yeah. I am in my uh, fifth year of my surgical residency. I want to be a, um, a vascular surgeon, but I need to log in all hours. So it means trauma, neuro, cardio, beads, all that you have to do as well. But I'm just going to get this brush here. I'm going to just start to brush away. A bit sniffly. I'm just going to start to brush away all of that bad stuff and then I'm going to get some gauze. Where's all the gauze? Okay. I'm just going to have to hold that there. Okay, it's starting to bleed a bit. Okay, press down. Idiot, press down. Sorry, they're a bit incompetent because they don't know how to do anything. Now, look here, look here, okay, okay, so the reaction time seems to split up, but I think it's probably because you haven't got a big splinter in your eye now, that's probably helped out a lot, hasn't it, <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to have to write this down in your, in your, what do you call it, in your chart. Yeah, we do use electronic charts now, but I prefer to write them down because at the, in the end, they all go down in paper. So, let's see.
you come off the morphine soon? He was supposed to feel better. Um, Dr. Amelia Shepard will be here soon to check out. Uh, she'll do a consult uh, for your brain. Check, make sure everything's not there. If you need me, you have my name. Um, hopefully you won't be admitted here for surgery. You may have a head lag though, which is just like a small trauma to the brain, which isn't good. Hopefully not an aneurysm. Grogginess or anything like that, please come back. We have a free clinic as well, so that means you won't have to come to the ER. Yeah, all right. Well, I'll let the consults do their job, and hopefully, I'll see you not anytime soon.